Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm coming back to you with another unboxing. This is another Blythe doll from the lovely Claudia Fargus. <clears throat> this one um was custom made. And um yeah, let's open I'm open it up and I can show you guys what I got. Beautiful packaging. This is the first time I received one in this type uh, box. Love it. Love the colors. Love me some pink. CF Dolls. You can find her on Instagram, YouTube. Etsy, so I can reuse this box for all my fabrics and stuff. It's it looks like it's a magnetic closure. Love that. Um, and she will sell on eBay. And her ribbons are personalized. Y'all can see that. CF Dolls. She loves butterflies. Love this box. And this is part of our packaging. This is the first time I received something like this as well. Miss Claudia is stepping up her game, y'all. Love it. This is her business card. She also is a, she's a Blythe customizer, Blythe clothes and accessories, and rag dolls. I need to ask her about the rag dolls. I hadn't um seen any work on that I need to ask her about it she does exceptional work A little business card holder oh it's beautiful this packaging some goodies. I have no idea what it is. She knows I like to be surprised. So we will see. She's supposed to be sending me another surprise gift um, in the mail. Hopefully I will have it by Saturday. And if so, I will come back on here and depending on what it is, and share with you guys. So we're going to wait to open her. We're going to see what she has for me. So she's got some hands, some extra hands. <coughs> Excuse me, some extra hands. She always sends those. And they look like they're lightly blushed. She is a, a darker tan. Love the coloring of these hands. She did very well with those. white and rose gold I 
of the packaging. Oh wow. assuming she handmade this it's yellow and it looks like the hood will fit her head as well most items that are um, that you buy don't fit the doll's head but I believe this will it looks like a little sweater cardigan and this beautiful uh, shade of yellow and it's got flicks of um, glitter in it in the thread I don't know if y'all can catch it on camera. And it's a snap closure. Super cute. And she's got the little yellow. Um legging socks with a little frilly lace at the top and I don't think you can the camera's not picking it up but it's um it's got a like a pattern on this lace it's not just solid almost like a antique vintage style legging very pretty pattern on there that's super cute little top it's not yellow it's cream so you'll be able to see the different color scheme it's like a cream beige like a cream off-white color really cute it's a little top with a little short sleeves might be a dress I'm not sure you might can go for a dress and it's she's got it curl it's hand crocheted and it's crocheted ties for the closure Super cute. Oh my goodness, look at this. I love it. Little bunny ear caps. <laughs> Looks like she made this as well. Super cute. Let's see. I bought this. I can't. Got my glasses on. Be positive. Yeah, be positive. A little label in here. I want to say the other part of it is in a different language, maybe. Might say be positive in another language. That is cute. Adorable. Love it. And that cream color kind of matches her dress or top.
so these are her wings I didn't know how they were going to be made I guess it's got these little hooks you can hook to the back of her shoulders very soft I don't know if it's coming off on camera but it's like a a real pretty pale blue with uh, darker blue flowers and white flowers on the wings. Okay, let's open her up. I love this um, wrapping that she has her in. Very pretty. So she's doing something different, looks like. For me, anyway, it looks like it's different. And she's got her um, ribbon with her logo on it, sewed onto the fabric. Love this, it's, it really protects the doll. Oh, she's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Her hair shades, it looks like. Gorgeous. Super soft hair. Can y'all see her? If you will, if you watch my videos, if you would please um, help me pick out her name for her. I was thinking about calling her Angel, but I'm not for sure. She's an angel doll, like a fairy angel. She's stunning. Claudia did a very, very good job on her. She's got blushing. All right, here's her gorgeous dress that she made. She did a wonderful job. <laughs> sleeves and they're not attached just like ruched on there and pushed up it looks like it's attached it's got little flower details that's cute it's pearls looped around well, clear beads. They look like pearls, but they like, I don't know, iridescent, clear, like beads. It's got the floral design at the very bottom. Love that. Love these flowers. Contrasting um, grayish bluish um, trim that matches her sleeves and her wings. Gorgeous. So it snaps. And the pearls wrap around like on the side of the dress, on one side. And let me show y'all this petticoat. I think that's what you call it. I'll put that back on in a minute. This is beautiful. I love it. And she brought in some of that uh, yellow, like a canary yellow, and yellow on the hem of the trim. And this petticoat looks like it's got little strips of silver or gold. Maybe that pale blue still, but it looks a little different. Love this detail. I'm gonna cover up her tatas. <laughs> just want y'all to see the detail in this um, petticoat then want y'all to see her little underwear she made lace that is beautiful love that
And look at her shoes. They look very vintage. Can y'all see that? And she's got these little socks built into it, like, with the little lace trim. And she's got the little antique looking flower on the side. I'm not sure she made these or not, but they are stunning. It looks like it's made for this dress, so she may have little lace ups. Got a little heel. These are cute. I'm going to put her top back on. Put her dress back on. Cover her up. Then I'll show you her eyes and her back plates and show you her with her wings on. Oh, I didn't break nothing. I'll be coming back on here with um some journal unboxings. I need to do some more purse unboxings, but I haven't bought any purses. I kind of slowed down on that. I guess since I had so many of them, I didn't really need any. So they won't be the latest and the newest. I do have still a few more of the vintage style ones. This is beautiful. I love it. She did a wonderful job on this dress. And I like how she did like a high-low at the very bottom so you can see that petticoat peeping out. That is stunning. Okay, so here is her face again. She is beautiful. She's got gold on her eyelids. Her pull strings match her outfit. Love the bead choices. Got cream, gold, clear beads, blue beads. And she is doing her name logo differently. Um, which I absolutely like these this style better because the other ones kind of tend to get hinned up in their hair. It says CF Dolls. Like that. I like these beads. Almost looks like it's a Swarovski crystal. The square one. Super cute. Very satisfied with that. Let's look at her eyes. These are my favorites. It's got like a little, um, it's either a fairy an angel or a little girl one of the two but I thought it was very very pretty one of my favorite eye chips it's the first one that I had um, other dolls it's the first one that I've had of that style and these match her dress they're like a like a pale yellow color Without it not being so overpowering or standoffish yellow, it's very pretty. She lets you pick the eye chips out and everything. And I 
pick these out as well and those are cute it's got like a little yellow little rosy color in there rosy orange color I love that and this is like a um, a brown amberish color very pretty I think that is it yeah so let me show you her back plate I had her make um it was like a fairy. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's kind of dark. It's not as light as I thought it would be. And then she's got these little um, gold looking rhinestones around her. And her logo, CF Dolls 2023. She just came in today. I always do my unboxings the same day that I receive them, the items, pretty much. Very pretty. Okay, and she has a tiara that she also made her. Let me show y'all that. So if y'all will, in the comments, please um, help me name her. Y'all please like the video, share, and subscribe if you're not a subscriber on my channel. I would truly appreciate it. Here is her little tiara that she's made. It's soft. Very, very cute. Delicate. Like the little gold, rose gold leaves. Little pearls on there. Cream and the blue and white roses, flowers. Very pretty. And she's got like a um, one of those pools. like a headphone does and you can slide it up to tighten it or pull it down to loosen it like that so it's fully just adjustable let me see if I can put this on here this is beautiful I probably got the band band on the wrong way but it'll be all right This is what she looks like with it on. Very pretty. I'm trying to get the right angle where y'all can see it. Okay, let's put her wings on and I'll let you good people go. This keeps coming out. Stay up, you're showing your tatas. I love the delicateness of the little anchors that she's got on these wings. It won't scratch the doll or anything like that, and they are adjustable. Oh, my dress won't stay up. So, the 
this is what she looked like with her wings on. She is stunning. She may be my favorite, favorite one yet. It's hard to pick a favorite on all the ones that I have. Because I, I like them all. They're all unique and special in their own way. I want to say I have 15 of these things now. Something like that. fixing to stop as soon as I get my little Q baby, the Midi Blythe. Um, then I'll be through, I think, for a minute unless I see something that really intrigues me. But that's how the wings look in the back, and they can bend a little bit. It'd probably do better if I had her on a stand. I need to get a stand for her. I'm surprised she didn't send me one for this cutie. Anyway, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and watching my unboxing. Again, Miss Claudia Fargus from CF Dolls made this precious beauty for me. I will link her um, uh, websites and channels that you can um, get in touch with her in my description in case you are interested in getting one made and if you will please don't forget to drop me a comment and let me know what you think I ought to name her because I haven't picked out her name thank you